Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Well, did you really expect anything different? This is why I prefaced every single video that I made on the Kerry Lake trial by saying, look, don't get your hopes up. It's an uphill battle. It's going to be rough. It's going to be hard to prove this. I mean, essentially, Kerry Lake is trying to prove the unprovable because there is no clear chain of custody. You know, ironically, the claim that Kerry Lake was making of potential malfeasance is essentially the same thing that makes it impossible to prove such malfeasance. There's no way to really do a proper audit to make sure that every single piece of paper, every ballot, is linked to a respective individual, a citizen and current resident, who casted that vote. There's no way to actually work backwards and prove any of these claims in a court of law. But if you ask me, that alone should be enough to dismantle the whole thing and start right back from square one from zero right at the drawing board. Because clearly, Carrie Lake's grievances aren't empty or disproven, quite the contrary. She effectively proved that a significant portion of ballots cast were lacking meeting the standards of basic chain of custody. And she also proved that a significant portion in many Republican districts in mostly Republican districts on election day when Republicans plan to vote were either accidentally or intentionally sabotaged by someone altering the ballot printer code to print 19-inch ballots instead of 20-inch ballots, which then caused tabulators to malfunction and caused absolute mayhem and chaos on election day, disenfranchising voters. She proved that. None of that is deniable. And moments like these, with Katie Hobbs' dazed and confused, totally lost legal defense, left stuttering, speechless and just shuffling away from the podium essentially prove that there's no argument counter to the grievances that Carrie Lake's campaign brought up. You're not an attorney, correct? No. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a legal question, but you only have to answer if you have an understanding about it. If you don't have an understanding, it's perfectly fine to say, I don't know. Um, are you aware that under Arizona law, a ballot is not, uh, not actually unlawful if it is... Uh, the term that's used sometimes is harvested or ballot collection. But if somebody who is not authorized to handle it deposits it, deposits it, or like what happened at Runbeck, if somebody brings it and inserts it into the stream, but not into an, a designated authorized drop box, are you aware that under Arizona law that is not actually an unlawful ballot? I think the, the term in the law is an invalid ballot. Okay. Um, just one minute, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. No more questions. Thank you very much, Miss Sunny. Okay. But anyways, I'm kind of all over the place. Despite all of it, despite the fact that there are clear issues, clear grievances, clear problems, Carrie Lake's case was dismissed, thrown out by the judge, lacking actual evidence of individual wrongdoing. It's not really surprising. People were predicting this from the start, that the judge was just trying to grant the illusion as if he was being fair to both sides by granting Carrie Lake a trial date. But really, in the end, the whole thing was a show. But just because this attempt was unsuccessful doesn't mean it's the end. You know, it was still progress. Initially, these types of legal challenges have been dismissed outright, not getting a trial date at all. At least Carrie Lake got her day in court. And at least we have these bombshell witness and expert testimony on the record in court. These viral clips and viral moment for millions to see and share. Slowly these issues are gaining awareness. Slowly people are realizing that the system is totally and utterly broken. I like to remain optimistic and think that this is step one. And the reason I could remain optimistic is because I know for a fact there's one person who won't give up. There's one person that's going to continue to fight to the absolute bitter end. And who do you think that is? That's Carrie Lake. And boy, is she fighting. If you think it's over, then you are very simply mistaken. Desperate Katie Hobbs in Maricopa County are now seeking more than $500,000 for Hillary attorney Mark Elias, or Mark Elias, and sanctions for Carrie Lake and her lawyers. Of course, not surprising at all, Mark Elias, Hillary Clinton's lawyer, famous DNC lawyer, you know, the guy who runs that law firm that was connected to Black Lives Matter, or rather the law firm that was representing the Black Lives Matter slush fund that happened to funnel, I think, $12.1 million for legal expenses. Wherever this guy seems to show up, you know something dirty is going on. So, of course, not surprising at all. The DNC legal muscle cavalry comes in. 
But Kerry Lake just announced that the judge denied Arizona Governor Select Hobbs' request to sanction Lake over election lawsuit. The judge slapped down Hobbs and Elias' despicable attempt at recrimination. Kerry Lake still believes that her case has merit, and you know, I would tend to agree, especially if you take a look at this case law example. Election Mule on Twitter writes, Update. Case law is on the side of Kerry Lake. Findlay versus Sorensen. Irregularities can void an election if the results are rendered uncertain. This case was cited but not followed by Judge Peter Thompson. Linking a picture to this case law document, a court must apply all reasonable presumptions in favor of the validity of an election. Moore versus City of Page. Honest mistakes or mere omissions on the part of election officers or irregularities in direct matters, or rather in directory matters, even though gross, if not fraudulent, will not void an election unless they affect the results or at least render it uncertain. Finley versus Sorensen, 35 Arizona from 1929. Unless they affect the result or at least render it uncertain. That seems to me like legal precedent from a previous case that stipulates that you don't even necessarily need to prove that the actual results were affected. You just need to prove that the end results remain uncertain. Well, if you apply that standard, it doesn't get any more uncertain than this. The whole system is nothing but uncertainty. I think the number that Carrie Lake's campaign got to was 60% of ballots having no clear chain of custody. Not to mention what happened on election day. If that doesn't cause uncertainty, then what will? What does? Not only does Carrie Lake's legal challenge have common sense substance to it, but it seems as though her legal argument is pretty sound as well. There's some actual substance there based on Arizona case law. But of course, it doesn't really change much. The judge was already presented all of this and he made the decision that he made. That's that and it's probably a wrap of the Carrie Lake trial, but it doesn't mean it's over. Carrie Lake is not going anywhere. She's a fighter and simply the people don't want her to go anywhere. And we're already seeing huge speculation that Carrie Lake is going to run for Senate in 2024 against Kirsten Cinema. And keep in mind that Kirsten Cinema is now running as an independent and Democrats are probably going to run their own candidate to unseat Kirsten Cinema. Essentially, the left wing vote might be split between Kirsten Cinema and the Democratic candidate. And that puts Carrie Lake in quite the position to possibly be a United States senator for the state of Arizona. In other words, she's not going anywhere. She's becoming the Democrats' worst nightmare and she will continue to do so. And one way or another, things are moving forward. No matter how many barriers, no matter how many walls the left tries to erect, the political battle continues. Carrie Lake is not giving up. She's not going anywhere. She's not backing down. And I'm sure you're not surprised to hear this, but based on a lot of hypothetical early polling data, matching up Kirsten Cinema, other Democrats, and Carrie Lake for the Senate race in Arizona, she's already leading a lot of those polls. Firebrand political superstar Carrie Lake is most likely going to get to Washington one way or another, no matter how hard they try to stop her. That's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel if you guys are up for it, of course. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.